and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I thought it would be fun to do a video showcasing my top 10 favorite like new releases. I know I haven't done a favorites video in a while and I thought about filming one today, but I was kind of like, okay, I have a lot of products that I've been loving lately. I have 10 new released products that I'm going to be sharing with you guys that I've been obsessed with, that I've been loving, that I haven't been able to put down. So if that sounds good and you wanna know what those are, go ahead and keep on watching. and get started with my first favorite. Like I said, these are all going to be new releases. So items that have came out in the last like couple months or so, probably all of them are really within like a month. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with my first one. So it's actually from Jouer and I love, love, love this product. This is a product that I kind of was on the fence about purchasing. I knew I loved Jouer's highlights, but I was like, do you need another highlight? No, I kept seeing swatches though and something just drew me into this and thank goodness I got it because this has quickly became my favorite highlight in my entire collection. And this highlight is their Molten Glow Highlight. I always wanna call it the Molten Gold because I have a few highlights that are called that, but it's actually called Molten Glow. Anyways, this highlight is absolutely stunning. I love it. First off, it has the most beautiful packaging. It really has like this really pretty shimmery gold packaging. It's super cute. But the actual highlight, you guys, is beautiful. It's like a really just like frosty gold champagne. It's just so pretty and it's absolutely stunning on the skin. I love the formula of Jouer's highlights. I feel like they just blend out really, really beautifully. They're always so blinding. They don't feel heavy. They don't like emphasize your pores. They have amazing packaging because I love that they have just like a mirror. It's very sleek, very easy. I got the little kit that came with the little brush. So I think the brush is okay. I don't actually use that when I use the highlights. Um, so you can get it individually or you can get it with the brush. But like I said, this quickly became one of my favorite highlights. I wasn't even thinking about getting it, but something just told me to, and I'm so, so glad that I did. So if you haven't checked this one out, I highly, highly recommend this one right here. And then next up, I have a couple of uh, drugstore favorites for you guys. So I have actually three drugstore products I'm gonna talk about. So I have two from CoverGirl. So these are gonna be my two ones that I'm gonna be talking about from CoverGirl. I have been loving this concealer from them. So this one is their new True Blend Undercover Concealer. You guys, if you are looking for an affordable concealer that has high coverage, that isn't cakey, that's going to give you a nice smooth under eye without looking too drying or you know, you want that hydrating feel, this one is it. I love this formula. It really reminds me of a lot of my high-end concealers. It's really, really nice. So it has, like you can see, really nice coverage but it isn't too drying. It just looks really, really great on the under eyes. This is the shade that I've been using. This one is L700, so it's light 700. They have quite a few different shades in this one, and also the applicator is really nice. I love the applicator. It reminds me of actually the one from Jouer that I really like. You get a lot of product out on the applicator, and I feel like it's just really smooth to put on. It's the perfect size. You get 0.33 fluid ounces, so you do get a decent amount of product. It's super affordable, really, really affordable option. I know I'm gonna go through this entire thing and repurchase it because I think this is my new favorite drugstore concealer. I like a few other ones, but that one, I, as soon as I used it, the first time I used it, I was like, this is gonna be a favorite, and I've continued to use it since, and it definitely has. And then with that, they actually released some new translucent powders. So I actually have been loving this one as well. So this is their new True Blend Minerals Loose Mineral Powder. The one that I've been using is the translucent shade. They also have a banana, I think there's a few other ones. But this has been really nice to set my under eyes. It's a nice smoothing powder. It has a bit of a tint to it. I don't feel like it's fully translucent. That's the only con I have with this. But other than that, I mean, you can't really necessarily see it, but it's a little bit of a yellowy tint to it. You can kind of tell right here. It has this puff, which I don't love, but the actual other packaging is really nice. I have a dog hair in mine, but there is like a little um, sifter here. It's really easy to get the product out of. I'll kind of show you guys what I mean when I say it has like a little bit of a tint to it. It's just not fully transparent. Like you think of a translucent powder, you think of like a white powder, but when you do apply it on the skin, it just looks so smooth. And I feel like when I use this on my under eyes, it just gives me a really nice looking canvas. Like I feel like my under eyes just look smooth when I mix the concealer and the powder together. It doesn't like cake up or crepe or anything like that. I wish I would have used it today because what I have on my under eyes I feel like looks really crepey. Um, but I've really been loving this combo. So if you're looking for a new drugstore concealer and powder, this mixture together 
is great. I've also been using this with my other concealers and I love it. Um, I like using it with a damp sponge and kind of setting my eyes that way. I've used it with brushes. I just think it's a really good powder and it's super affordable. Again, you get a lot of products in here. And then my next drugstore favorite is from Essence. And this is their Lash Princess Mascara, but this is the waterproof version. So if you don't know, I've been in love with their Lash Princess Mascara for a while. I really love their other Gosh, I can't even think of the name of it, but I really liked a lot of their mascaras that they've had in the past. And waterproof mascara for me has always been kind of a hard thing. I have one from Lancome that I do really like. It's the Monster Big Waterproof. But any other waterproof one I use, I just feel like I don't love. I have so many in my collection, and I'll tell you why I don't necessarily always love them. It's because I feel like, one, I think that they don't really do much for like lengthening, volumizing. Like I feel like when you use a waterproof mascara, at least in my opinion, the ones I've used, it just doesn't really do much for my lashes. It doesn't really make them longer. It doesn't really make them fuller. Yes, they're black, but I don't see like a massive difference like I do when I use regular mascara. So if I were to use the same mascara in a normal version, I just feel like I'd get a better effect than when I use the waterproof. Also, sometimes they're really hard to wash off, which I don't like either. You really have to like tug at your eyes to get it off. This one, however, is waterproof. It also lengthens, it also gives you volume, and it's easy to get off and it's affordable. So it's kind of like an all-in-one win. I know I'm gonna repurchase this when I run out. So it is the Lash Princess. It's gonna have the blue because it is the waterproof. I know you can get this at Ulta. I wanna say it's $4.99, so super, super affordable. I love the wands on it. It's the same wand as the other one, so it's like a longer, nice wand right here. It's very black. And like I said, it just does a really great job of separating. It makes my lashes look long, thick and it comes off easily, which is great, and it's also waterproof. I haven't had any issues with like smearing or falling off or anything like that, definitely sweat proof. I wore this outside a ton, and I haven't seen it like smudging at all, so it's definitely gonna be one of those ones you could probably cry in. I haven't cried in it yet, I haven't cried in a while, but it's probably gonna be one of those ones you could cry in, or if you're gonna go to like a sad movie or something, you know, a wedding, you could use that, or also maybe swimming, I don't know. I don't know what everyone uses waterproof mascara for. Mostly for me, I use it if I know I'm gonna go to like a wedding or an event that, you know, I might shed a tear or two at, and also in the summertime when it gets hot out, I feel like my eyes can water and run, so I like using it in the summertime as well. All right, and then another summertime product that I've been obsessed with that I think is great that is also affordable is from this new brand. So this is ColourPop's sister brand and it's called Soul Body and they have the shimmering dry oils. I know dry oils have been in, a lot of companies have been coming out with them. Um, I know Anastasia, Patrick Ta, Huda Beauty, Kim Kardashian, like a lot of the brands have been coming out with these. But this guy right here, it's only $15, and I swear this is so comparable to the other high-end ones that I have, and I actually like it better. So I purchased, back when this one came out, Patrick Ta's um, body oil, and this one is nice, but I honestly like this one more. And the reason why I like it more is I love the smell of this one, for one. I also feel like I like the formula. I feel like it lasts a little bit longer, and it has this brush, too, that you can purchase that is really, really nice and the packaging is really just luxurious. They have a ton of different colors to choose from. I have it on my neck right now, so you guys can kind of see. It just gives you a nice sheen and a sparkle, but it's not too intense. The Patrick Ta one, when I use that one, I have like this residue that kind of sits on my body and it like feels almost slimy. This one doesn't feel like that. It doesn't feel like when I touch my body, it doesn't feel like I'm gonna get like glitter everywhere or, you know, it just doesn't feel heavy or slimy. Um, this one feels really nice on the skin and it also, it smells like heaven. Smells like heaven. I can smell it right now on me. It kind of reminds me of like a perfume or something. It is such a good smell. It's like a tropical, summery smell. And like I said, a little goes a long way. When you actually use this, the squirter on it really squirts it out. <laughs> and I kind of want to show you guys, but it pretty much just like one pump of this is gonna be all over your entire hand and it's like so watery that it's gonna run. So what I like doing is applying it actually into the brush because if I apply it on my, like even in my hands, it's like sliding everywhere, if that makes sense. So I apply it directly into the brush and then kind of work the brush onto my body, put this on my shoulders, put it on my hands, put it on my neck, put it pretty much everywhere. It's so pretty and again, it smells amazing and it's only $15. I think the brush is $12. So even together, both of these is cheaper than the Patrick Ta one, and I feel like I like it 10 times better. So if you haven't tried this out and you're into dry body oils, 
that is a good one to pick up. And then next up I actually have a brow product, which I don't find brow products too often that I like that are new releases. I feel like I'm very set in my ways with my precisely my brow. I like my certain brow gels. I kind of just stick in my zone when it comes to my brows because I'm not the most confident in them. But this product that I actually got from Iconic London has been incredible. If you are someone who likes a kind of more messy brow look or you're into like the soap brows or you're into like the feathered brow look, like in the front of my brows, I kind of have them upwards. This is gonna be your new best friend. So this is called their Brow Silk. And what it is is actually basically just like soap. <laughs> if you guys see people doing the soap brow, pretty much what that is, what this is, but it's actually meant for doing your brows. So I feel like I've tried to master the soap brow look. I've bought a bunch of different soaps and used different brushes and I can never really achieve it. I feel like every time my brows just kind of looked a little off, like they looked kind of like the soap would get in there. It just wasn't a cute look. And then I tried this. So they give you this brush, which the brush is amazing in itself. Uh, I know a lot of people say that this is actually a brush that people use to like do their hair with. So it's pretty much not really anything like super original, but this brush makes all the difference. So all you have to do is just put the brush into the product right here and then just spoolie through your brows and it really just sticks them like straight up. Like you guys can see. If you are into that feathered brow look, it just works so easily and they stay in place. Like this will stay like this all day. It's not one of those ones that's gonna like go down. So the thing that I love about this too is not only can you use it like for the feathered look, but you can also use this to set your brows. So if I kind of want to keep them down like this, I can use it for that and they'll stay set like that as well. So it's a really cool product. It does have a mirror on it as well. The packaging is really nice. I know you can get this now at Ulta, so I definitely recommend this if you're into the feather brow look or the soap brow and you're doing a soap brow and maybe you don't wanna like carry around your little soap and everything like that. This makes it way easier and I love the look of it so much better. Okay, up next, I actually have makeup wipes, which I'm excited about because I haven't found a new makeup wipe that I've liked in a long time. I ha pretty much have one that is like my go-to, which is from Pathology, and I haven't like repurchased those in a while, so when I got these in the mail, I was like, okay, let me try these out. They're so good, you guys. So these are from Pure Lease. These are called their Watermelon, Watermelon Energizing Makeup Remover Wipes love these they are so so good so not only do they smell like watermelon if you're not a fan of watermelon you might not like these but they smell like watermelon which i love they also are so so moist i know a lot of people like that word but I, they're just super hydrating super super um saturated like the towel that you use it just has a wetness to it so when you actually remove your makeup it doesn't feel like you're tugging on your skin i don't really like using makeup removal wipes to remove my makeup for that reason i feel like it really just dries my skin out and when i use them it's like i'm tugging i'm pulling on my skin and i just feel like it's not my hair is looking crazy um i feel like it's not you know it's not really doing the job it's removing the makeup but it's kind of stripping my skin at the same time. So they also have different products in it that are also going to help with your skin. So they have the watermelon, so it's a natural toner. It helps refresh the skin. They have aloe vera in them, white tea, and then also cucumber. So it has a lot of benefits in these as well. So like I said, not only are they not gonna strip your skin, they're also gonna give you a couple of benefits back into your skin. And they're just super great. I don't feel like they've dried out in all, at all, and I've just been using this, like open it like this. And they're really, really good. So there's comes with 30 in a pack. I highly suggest these if you're looking for a new makeup wipe to remove your makeup because those are so good. You only need to use one too. Like they have so much to them. Like I said, that one will remove like a complete face. Like if I was to use one right now, I could take off this entire face, the eye look, mascara, everything with just one wipe, which is great. Okay, a few products that I have left is the new Flex Stick Foundation from Milk Makeup. This is one that you guys seen me testing out in a testing new makeup video, and I actually really love it. I'm gonna come back and do a review probably on that video, but kind of give you a little sneak peek. I've been using this a ton. I really, really like it. So I actually don't love stick foundations. They're not my favorite. They're just kind of always normally drying on my skin, which is why I just don't prefer them. When I'm doing my makeup, I would prefer a liquid. 
This one isn't drying at all though. It's such a good formula. It has really, really good coverage. I feel like it just looks hydrating on the skin. Like you can kind of see, I mean, I know I have that highlight on, but it kind of gives a bit of a luminosity to your skin. It doesn't look like too cakey or crepey. I don't feel like this settles into my fine lines. I feel like it just really looks natural on the skin, which is my favorite kind of foundation. It isn't like a full coverage by any means. I would say it's more of like a medium coverage foundation, but that's what I actually prefer as well. There's a ton of different shades. I think the packaging is really great on it as well. It lasts all day. I just really like it. And I also feel like you don't have to use a ton of products and it doesn't tug on your skin either. Sometimes with these stick foundations, I think I mentioned that in the video, that when I feel like I'm putting them on, they're kind of dragging on my skin and I'm like tugging on my skin to apply them. This one that goes smooth, just right on. You can just do a few stripes. You can use a brush with this or you can use a sponge. Both of the applications give a little bit of a different finish, but they both look really pretty. I've really, really been liking this one from Milk Makeup. There's also a decent shade range on that one too. So I'm Everyone can find their shade in that. And then the last two products that I have for you guys are actually lip products. So the first one is just a new launch in general. This is from Honest Beauty. So this is Jessica Alba's beauty line. And she came out with these liquid lipsticks. They actually sent me the entire shade range of them. And when I got them, I loved the shades. They have a very like mauve nude tone to them, which is my favorite when it comes to lips. A lot of pinks, they have like a little bit of a hint of red, but they're all mostly just like rosy nudes, which is my favorite. So I think altogether there were seven different shades. I've tried out almost every single one of them because I really, really like them. This is one of my favorites. It's called Passion, which is such a pretty color. This formula though is what I love. It's the formula that's so good. Also the applicator is really nice on here but they almost have a like whipped formula to them when you apply them on the lips. They just look really, really hydrating. And even when it dries down, it still almost looks like you still have like, it's not a gloss, it's kind of more of like a satin, like you have a bit of sheen. It's not one of those liquid lips that you apply and it's like super flat looking, but it also isn't the same as a satin to wear it would kind of like break apart or it would be like transfer proof. It's not like that. So it does have a tiny, 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 tiny bit of transfer. If you are going to be eating or something, like you can get a tiny bit of transfer with this, but it's not anything crazy. It definitely stays a long time on the lips. I've worn this one like all day, multiple times, and I've really been impressed with how well it stayed, eating, drinking, that sort of thing. Like I said, there's a tiny bit of transfer, but it's very comfortable on the lips, which is what I love. Sometimes, like I said, with liquid lips, they can get really drying and they can kind of give you that whole like when they fade kind of that whole look that's not really cute this one I feel like fades really nicely as well I love the color selection that they chose for these two and because it is her honest brand this is going to have really good ingredients in it nothing too harmful which is great as well and then the last product that I have is from Ofra and I know these aren't like the newest but they are a new release and that is their flex lip glosses I love these so much I have one on my lips right now I've actually been wearing these non-stop. I have so many colors in them. They actually sent me like the entire range of them and I know they keep releasing new colors as well. These are so good though. They smell amazing. The applicator on them is amazing and the gloss colors are just so good. These are two of my favorites, but I have so many like literally everywhere. I have them in my purse. I have them in my jacket. I have them all over my house because I've been using them so much. So this one here is the shade Orchid, which is so pretty. And then this is the one that I've been using a ton. This is Golden Rose. That's the one that I have on my lips right now. I love the applicator because it applies the perfect amount of products. Like when you put it on, I feel like it's just enough for your lip. You can even do one of those and that's enough to go in general. I have it on right now without lip liner or anything like that. I don't feel like you need a lip liner with this. Obviously, it's a different look if you apply it with a lip liner, but it lasts pretty nicely. It's a nice formula. It's not goopy. It's not going to be like sticky. I feel like it doesn't get on my teeth like a lot of glosses do. Um, it's just really nice. I like the packaging as well. And like I said, the smell is really good. <laughs> they're just really comfortable. And there's so many colors to choose from. There's different finishes. Some of them have like more glitter in them. And some of them are more of just like a plate, like a straight gloss. They're also a nice price point. I think it's $15 for the gloss. And you do get a decent amount. It's not the largest gloss ever. You can tell I've already used quite a bit in this one. 
but I do think for the price they're really good. Also have a lot of discount codes with them. I have one I will have down in the description box, but I know a lot of other people do as well. So after that, that is going to do it for my top 10 new makeup releases that I think you should have. I think that there are so many good products out right now. Again, I'm one of those people that gets very overwhelmed. I know you guys tell me all the time you get overwhelmed with how many new releases there are, but sometimes you just find those hidden gems. You're like, I gotta share these. So I am glad that I was able to do this video for you. Give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. I will have all of the products linked down below for you guys to check out. Don't forget to subscribe before you go and I'll see you in my next video. Bye friends.